Today we have a fun little package from Ben and Cody over at Sounds Like a Drum. Well, actually, I don't know if you would consider the package itself fun, but what we're gonna do with what's inside the package will be fun. Hey everybody, um, you're probably not expecting to see me here. My name's Cody and uh, Ben and I at Sounds Like a Drum have been dying to do a partnership, a little collaboration with David for a while. We've been friends for a bit and today's finally our opportunity to do that. On our channel, we focus on drums, drum tuning, drum tone, getting sounds, and also a lot of DIY hacks and things like that, which definitely kind of dovetailed in with finding something we could do together with David. My favorite drum head from Evan's drum heads is a G12. It's a one ply coated head and we've experimented a lot with them. We've modified them a little bit, but there were a couple of things we wanted to try out that were a little above our skill set in terms of what we could do here at our studio. So we decided to hit up David, see if he wanted to get into it with us because we definitely know that he knows how to do, among other things, drilling holes in just about everything. <laughs> Now, Evans has been doing drum heads that have what they call dry vents in them for a long time. They're primarily for snare drums. The vents are very small, and the idea is to release some air from inside of the drum to kind of dry out the sound, alleviate some overtones, and sort of focus the attack and the clarity and everything. But we wanted to know what would happen if we did that to the toms as well, and they don't offer anything like that, so it was down to us to pick our favorite drum head and then figure out how to put some holes in it. So here we have a brand new set of Evans G12 coated batter heads, and we're gonna fire these off to David, see what he comes up with. We're trying to figure out if we can get holes all the way around the edge to make it even response and even distribution to the venting, and we're gonna see what he comes up with. So that is my job for today's video. I need to figure out a way to put a bunch of tiny little holes in all these heads. And then for part two of this video over on the Sounds Like a Drum channel. The plan is to test these against a regular factory set without any vent holes and see what kind of effect we've managed to achieve here. For the 10 inch head, we're gonna use a 16th of an inch hole and we're gonna do 16 total of those, which just so happens to be the size and number of the actual HD dry. This is a 16th of an inch drill bit and it fits perfectly inside the holes. For the 12 inch, we'll go with an eighth of an inch hole, which is a 16th bigger than 1 16th. And again, we'll go with 16 holes. Then for the 16 inch, we'll go with 3 16ths of an inch, which is a 16th bigger than an eighth. And again, we'll go with 16 holes. So with this plan, we're scaling the size of the hole to the size of the head and leaving the number of holes the same. I thought about doing the opposite and leaving the size of the hole the same and just adding more holes in the bigger size heads. But I think by scaling the size of the hole, we'll see more of a difference. And also laying out all of the same number of holes in each of the heads will be a little bit easier. So now let's test how to put some holes in some heads. I'm gonna use these leather punches and uh, see if they cut through the head. This one's 3 16 Try that again. All right, here's a 1 8 inch hole. And here is a one millimeter hole, close to 1 16th. All of those punch through fine, but if we flip it over, you'll see that it leaves sort of a raised edge, which we don't want. And if we switch to a harder surface to punch on, that might help a little bit. The 3 16 is clean on both sides. The eighth inch is a little mushed up and same thing with the one millimeter, not the cleanest. So let me try a few different things. I feel like I'm hitting too hard on the smaller ones. So that might help a little bit. All of those did really well. I just need to make sure not to hit it too hard. Now the one millimeter and not so much luck with the one millimeter. So I'm happy with these two sizes. Let's try actually drilling the head. Drilling the holes wasn't the cleanest, but I tried a couple more things which were actually worse, so for the actual one, I decided to use the drill. So I'm sure there's a better way, but now let's move on to laying out the hole pattern. First up, I'm putting some tape around the edge of the head so I don't mark it up. And for the layout, I'm using this mat which I bought, but you can easily find free ones online you can print yourself. So I'll just center up the head and put some clear tape on the center so I can see through it and then mark the center. Then I'll go around the head marking out each line for eight evenly spaced holes. 
Then I'll just turn the head so that the marks we made are spaced in between the layout lines and go around and mark again, leaving us with 16 evenly spaced marks. From there, I'll take a straight edge, line it up with the center and outer marks and extend those lines. Then I took a set of calipers and measured the actual HD dry and transferred that measurement onto the heads. Then you just go around and punch out all the holes, making sure to remove the plug after each one. And there you go, that's how you turn any drum head into an HD dry. So I'm really proud of the 12 and the 16. Those holes came out really clean and really nice. The small holes on the 10, they look good from afar, but they're far from good. So I'm sure there's a better way to do those. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear. Now, before I send these back to Sounds Like a Drum, I found these oval punches. So let's grab an old head and make some funky shapes for them. That should be interesting. But as far as practicality goes, making these isn't that hard. Laying out all the holes definitely takes the most time. But if you think about it, you can make these one time, use them, and then once you need new heads, you can use the old ones as a template, and that'll save a bunch of time since punching out the holes takes like a minute per head. And then you can just keep the old heads as a template or just continue the cycle. But sadly for me, and luckily for you, it's time for me to pass on these heads back to Ben and Cody over at Sounds Like a Drum so they can do a proper comparison with these heads with the holes and the stock G12s. So be sure to head over to their channel so you can hear how good or how bad these drum heads sound, or if they'll break as soon as you play on them. I hope they don't. So that video will be linked in the description as well as in a pinned comment and should be popping up on the screen right now. So be sure to head over to their video to see how these sound. So that's it for this one. That's not it for this one. I need to give them the heads, duh. That should do. Hopefully that made it to them without any extra holes in the heads.